Hello everyone. Well, today I'm going to show you how to use Excel to calculate a variance covariance matrix. Now we're going to need a variance covariance matrix ultimately because we want to calculate the variance of a portfolio so we can actually use solver to create mean variance optimizations. So I'll do that in a different video, but for this one I just want to show you how to calculate a variance covariance matrix and how to populate all this data right here. So as a reminder real quick, we can do matrix notation in Excel and that makes our life a lot easier. I'm showing you here just two assets, assuming we have a portfolio of two assets, asset B and asset S. If we did that, you can do a very simple calculation in Excel to create the expected returns, which is just a combination between the weights and expected returns of the underlying assets. The same thing with the variance. You could imagine that this isn't all that complicated as long as you've got the standard deviation of the two stocks and you've got the correlation between the two and the weights, you can see that you could probably do that pretty easily in Excel. The problem happens when you get to three, four, five, six, and more assets. It becomes increasingly difficult to calculate the variance without using matrix notation. Matrix notation is always going to be simply the weights, the weight vector transposed multiplied by the variance covariance matrix multiplied again by that same weight vector. And so really it's three things that you're going to be multiplying as opposed to many different items you're going to be multiplying out over here, particularly when you go beyond uh, two assets. So that's the advantage of matrix notation. But the first things first, first we've got to get this variance covariance matrix. So to do that, let's go over to my portfolio returns tab down here at the bottom. And you can see I've got six stocks that I'm going to track here. Oracle, Microsoft, IBM, Apple, Amazon, and Tesla. And so I've got data that goes from 2016 through 2020, monthly data. So I've got five years of monthly data. So I've got 60 months. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight well, first of all, I'm going to go back over here to the optimization uh, sheet, and I'm going to find a cell where I really want to calculate my variance covariance matrix. So I've chosen this cell here. I've got to go to data analysis, so to do that, I would first click on this data tab, and then I'd go over here to data analysis, and you can see I've already selected covariance, but it's right there. I hit OK. And it says, okay, what's your input range? So it needs an input of returns. So I go back over here to my portfolio returns tab, and I choose all that data that I had mentioned before, okay? So I've chosen all that, and you can see it's populated that in there. Now I need to figure out the output range. So I click in there, and I'm going to go ahead and just choose this cell here first. And I hit okay. Now you'll see it gives me a lower triangle matrix. So it doesn't give me any data over here. We know that a matrix is symmetrical. In other words, this column is going to equal this row, and this column will also equal this row, and so forth. But for whatever reason, Excel just chooses not to populate this part up here. Um, maybe it thinks it's redundant, but the problem is we actually need that data. For, for our matrix math to work. So what do we do? Well, what we're going to do here is just very simple, a couple different steps. First thing I'm going to do is highlight all of this, okay? And I'm going to hit copy. And then I choose another cell down here. And I'm going to go over to paste and hit paste special. And I'm going to transpose this, okay? So it's going to basically just flip it. And now I have an upper matrix. So, so now I just got to figure out how to copy this and put it back over here. And so that's actually relatively easy to do. You hit control C. So I've copied all that data. Now I choose the the upper left uh, element in the matrix. I'm going to hit paste special again. And then what I do is I go down here and I just hit skip blanks. So it's only going to populate the data where it was blank. And it's going to put that in there and you can see it's got that. Now, if I want a more elegant formatting here, you can see it's got a bunch of lines there. I can just go up here to the top and hit no border, and that gets rid of all of that. So let's now just copy that and then just paste it into here. And then later, of course, and you can see everything was linked, so all of a sudden this data started populating. Uh, and what's, that'll come in a video later. I'll show you how to do a solver optimization. 
But now at least we've got a covariance matrix. It is symmetrical. You can verify that. And then, of course, just to be nice and neat, what I would ultimately want to do is clean up all this data down here and get rid of it.